Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I want to take the time to sort of talk about the professions that you can invest in right now to uh, have profits in future phases. Now, I did do a little video about sort of planning uh, future phases, and that really focused on the crafting side of things with like uh, tailoring was the example I used in that. And while, yes, that is a good example, I want to double down on it and sort of go into more detail about the other more lucrative methods that you can do now um, in a very similar format uh, to yesterday's video that will benefit you way later. Um, and so that's a little difficult to articulate at times, but I, I hope you guys will understand. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel get discovered, helps my channel grow, and helps me help as many people as I can, which is the entire goal of my channel. So anyway, let's get into the video. So yesterday we talked about alchemy and sort of doing tip alchemy and making those potions with your potion masters. Well, come uh, Trial of the Grand Crusader, you have the ability to get epic gems. Which means you could take your alchemy that you've already practiced right now, turn it into a Transmute Master, and then uh, that only costs, I think, 50 gold, and you go to Outland to do it. Um, and then that allows you to do this, and it is going to be making the uh, new epic gems that come into play there. And so, obviously, Cardinal Ruby, the red one, is going to be the best. It takes an Eternal, which also rises these Eternal prices quite a bunch, as well as um, the blue version of the gem. And as you, if you've bought any of, if you're currently gearing and stuff, you can see these blue gems are pretty expensive right now. But you will have the ability to transmute it, and if you are a transmute master, you have the ambition or uh, proc for them. Um, these are all daily cooldowns, I believe, from what I have seen. They're not in the game, so I can't actually test it right now, but I believe they are 20-hour cooldowns. And so you can then make a ton of gold that way by sort of utilizing those. Um, I believe you learn these five, and then you have a chance to learn Cardinal Ruby. Um, that is just what I have read. I'm not entirely sure on that yet. Um, also, if you did it right now, you could sort of utilize some of these eternal ones. The most profitable one is going to be Shadow to Life. You can do that once every 20 hours. Um, if you're not actively using your alchemist, making those potions sort of um, in trade chat or whatnot, then it's not a terrible thing to consider. You know, make a few 20 golds, 30 gold every time, every 20 hours. Not the worst thing in the world. Just something to consider. Then finally, the other way to get epic gems is going to be through titanium. So if you are a miner right now, you can actually go out there and start mining titanium. You could buy it off the auction house right now um, and then have a jewel crafter and then you can prospect it. Now I do believe to prospect titanium, you do need 450 jewel crafting. However, to mine it and store a ton of titanium ore, you do not. So you can just, you know, get that max mining of 450, get out there, start getting a ton of titanium ore, um, or you can buy it off the auction house. I know a few people in my guild have guild banks full of titanium ore just waiting for these gems to become active, and then they're going to prospect the crap out of them. And what's super nice about that is you'll also get these um, yellow gems and uh, these uh, the blue gems that are going to be less that you're then going to use to transmute into the epics if you do not even hit the epics. So it's just really, really uh, a self-sustaining machine almost if you are stockpiling titanium right now for something that is two phases away. We'll have Ulduar first, and that doesn't bring epic gems, but Trial of the Grand Crusader does. So you'll be able to get um, them at that point. And so you have two full phases to prep. I think this will be a huge money maker. You'll make a ton of gold off of this. Um, it just takes a lot of preparation and being ready because this is where the prices are the cheapest. Now, as far as tailoring, blacksmithing, um, and leatherworking go, um, I covered this briefly in the other video. I used tailoring as the example, but there are always going to be uh, feet and, I believe, belts that you can make. Um, and they are going to be using... Uh, so these are the old door bo boots. They will use ruined orbs. Um, these are the ICC boots, which will use Serenite. Um, and then... 
those are sort of what you uh, can get to get really good gear. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at waste. So it's just ruined orbs and uh, primordial serenite is what I will look up and then sort of see what you can craft with those for tailoring, leatherworking, blacksmithing. Sort of pre-stock those materials because they can really uh, make you a lot of money. But the biggest thing that sort of works this way, and I do think that the titanium stockpiling will work because when we had Nexus Crystals, this is the only other example, is when AQ came out, all the epics that we had been storing, I was the guild enchanter, so I had a ton of them in my uh, guild bank, and I even tested it on PTR. They did turn into Nexus Crystals, so that was a pretty interesting thing. So it does retroactively apply. So I'd imagine any titanium that you get now will generate into those uh, crystal, uh, those epic gems if you were to prospect it. Anyway, guys, that's sort of it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other sort of lucrative things that you uh, trade secrets you'd like to share, by all means, please do drop it down in the comments below. I love to hear about all these things. Those are just some of the things that I've heard about that I am doing as well. Um, as I've mentioned many times in Wrath, I have tons of tailors, so I'm going the cloth angle. I'll let you guys uh, know how much I've invested and how much it pays off. Uh, and when Old Art comes out, so we'll see how that does then. But anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.